Hello YouTube, and today I've got one of these plug things with remote control. So the idea is you can do that, and it turns the uh, whatever you got plugged in on and off. But as you can hear, it doesn't. It should be on channel two, and there's no relay clicking, so it's broken. We assume this is working because the um, lights on. So let's have a look at the plug. All right, this is a little bit crusty. Yeah, this is probably sitting somewhere. Dirty, and the little red thing, wherever that is, has fallen out. Is that an LED in there? Who knows? It's fallen out anyway. But it looks like this ring comes off, and then there's two screws there. So, can we prise that up? Can I do it on camera, one handed? Because I know you like to see me take things apart. I think you do anyway. Do you? If you do, leave a comment. If you don't, leave a comment because I like comments because it's engagement. That's what YouTube cares about is people engaging. Oh, one-handed is good. So if you feel engaged, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a share, subscribe, all that rubbish. Here we go. It's in. There you go. Screws. What are they? Phillips. Um, I need a screwdriver. Two seconds. It's apart. And yeah, then two screws did the thingy. A um, bit of plastic running around in here, which is that terminal there, which is not good. So post that holds that together. Why is that broken off? Rubbish thing. I need to glue that back on. And the little plastic cap that goes over that light has come off. So we can leave that to one side. That's got to be repaired. And this is the exciting stuff. Wow. Look at that. Anything obvious? Not particularly. Um, yeah. There we go. Thermal fuse over the relay. Has that popped? Who knows? We need to take that out and have a look. And what we got on the other side as well. There's not much in here. It's quite boring, really. Right, let's pop that board out and see what's on the other side. It's stuck to my finger. Stupid thing. Oh, look at them little switches. These are the switches to set the frequency. And they're just little um, plastic things that rotate in their little holders. And uh, on the other side, you've got little matching pads that goes to the micro. That's very simple, isn't it? Wow. Um, what the person described as happening is that it, it you could hear the relay chattering and then, just, just, then it suddenly died. So I suspect it's probably something simple like a dropper capacitor or one of these upper caps rather than anything fundamental. Probably is going to be the dropper cap, isn't it? Um, what is it meant to be? 3.3 microfarads. Oh, we might have some of them. Uh, let's measure it. That'd be a good thing to do, wouldn't it? Measure the dropper cap. Right, so what I want to do is measure the output voltage of the little dropper capacitor circuit. And I need something isolated that I can put with. Isolated handle, but metal thing, that'd be fine. So there is a capacitor here, which is the output cap of the dropper supply. So you actually, well, you've got your 400 volt cap here. So measure 400 volts across there, and you're good. Measure around about 5 volts there. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to measure that. Oh, no, it's that one there, that one there. Them two caps there, that point, that point, that is the five volt section. So I can measure that. I'm going to see if I can do it on camera, but I might do it off camera because hands. Uh, can I do this? No. No, I need, like, oh, hang about, hang about. Boom, there we go. So you can, about to witness an explosion. Talk to my sales for a bit. As I'm setting up, power on. Right, this is live. Go there, that's probably ground. So I'll put it stronger ground. Hmm, measuring zero. There's no power. Interesting. So where's the 400 volt cap? 400 volt volt cap is here. 0.3 volts. Ooh. Right. Interesting. So let's go to AC and should measure our supply here and here. Should be 14 volts. That's not right, is it?
Hmm. So our AC mains coming in is only 14 volts. How? Power's on. Power's on. So power from here, I'm just going underneath to the actual mains connections. Which it would obviously be that because upper supply, so would it be 14 volts from there to there? 8 volts. Wow. Okay, let's turn the power off and have a quick think about things. Interesting. Right, I'm going to read these voltages out to you. Some mains. 230, perfect. Through the dropper here. Point 0.2 of a volt AC. It's got to be the dropper cap, hasn't it? Because we're dropping. Wow, we're dropping 300 something odd volts across that dropper cap. So DC from there to there. Millivolt bias. It's got to be the dropper cap. Okay, it measured fine, but clearly it isn't. Uh, turn the power off. I'm going to see what let the dropper cap out of circuit and have a look at it. Fortunately, my um, little power supply that I designed, Project Catalina, obviously, which is a voltage dropper, uh, uses the same 0.33 microfarad capacitor. So I've got loads of these little blue capacitors. So let's desolder this and fit a blue one and see if it works. So I've desoldered the um, dropper cap just to make some measurements because whilst poking around across this Zena, which I assume is going to be there to limit the voltage on the... Uh, dropper cap stage that is measuring when I get a good connection it is measuring 7 ohms there oh come on oh, you can't see it now 7 ohms so and all that's there is that Zener on the other side there's a little cap which I'm assuming is going to be a noise suppression thingy so I might lift that cap see if that disappears that drop because there's only them two between them parts that would, that would cause the um, voltage sag shall we say because it's it's really there from there you've got the diode that fills up the reservoir cap you know this should be 400 volts or so so I'm expecting that Zener or the cap underneath so cap underneath will take off because I, I suspect that doesn't do anything apart from noise suppression and then if that is fine take check the Zener and there's your problem Zena is measuring 7 ohms. So what happens if we measure it on diode? Beep. Yeah, that's not right, is it? That's not a voltage drop. Oh dear. So we've got to find out what value set uh, Zena voltage that is. If it's written on the side, I need to put my tiny eyes in. And then place it. That's the markings. C24. There's a... Uh, or ST D. yeah um, so is that a 24 volt Zener? possibly uh, 24 volt Zener does that make sense? it might make sense what's the voltage rating on the cap that's on the um, in there that'll dictate it won't it does it say can we see the voltage rating on that cap oh come on focus no we can't Five degrees C is all we can see on there. Um, I'll see if I've got a 24 volt Zener. Fit it in, and if it blows up, it goes bang, doesn't it? I happen to have a 22 volt Zener. Actually, so zoom in and see if it's the same markings. Uh, C22. Yeah, so it must be a 24 volt Zener we took out. 22 should work, shouldn't it? Maybe. Let's solder that in, solder it all together, and see what happens. Right, a bit of progress has been made. Now I need to poke this down with a screwdriver to show you because the little switches at the back aren't making contact otherwise. But if I turn it on and off, it does work. So I turn it on. It's off. And you can see the remote next to me. 
obviously when you turn it on it makes that buzzing sound now that is the relay chattering so there's not enough welly to keep the relay contacts closed so there's another fault with this um, I suspect what's probably happened is that relay started jaggering and you get high voltage being generated and it's blown that Zeno up possibly so we've got to look at why that relay is chattering maybe it's these caps are also dry could be worth just recapping the lot hmm intriguing there's a 220 microfarad capacitor reading oh dear 0.18 nanofarads yeah there's your problem kaput it's a 35 volt cap as well so uh let's see if we've got any of these so that is your main reservoir cap that you know they from the power from the dropper so that'll be why you relay chattering because there's not enough welly enough capacitance to hold the relay contacts over right new cap required right that capacitor has been changed and it's that one there i'm not going to touch it because i don't want to blow myself up because it is live because if i click the button it's on, no chatter. Look at that. It works. Right, there we go. Fixed. So all we've got to do is uh, repair the damage to the cover. I will make a stop by putting a bit of glue in. But um, yeah, so put it back together again and it should all be working. So yeah, that's it. So for now, I'll leave you there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. So bye for now.